how do we learn about functioning in the wheel of life? When you listen closely, there are so many objections that people have with it. Objecting to other parts of the wheel. If a person sees themselves as a spoke on the wheel of whatever field that they're in, they may be objecting to what they see as the hub. What are these people doing? representing the hub, and who do they think they are anyway? Or it's, it's, as it's unkindly put, who died and left you in charge? <laughs> there is that oh-so-important relationship with what is at the hub of our field, however it's represented in our life, symbolically represented by the spoke of the wheel. And then it's easy to object to the spoke next to you. By, by the very definition of life, we're all different. We are diverse. We're diverse in outer ways, size and shape, color of skin, background. Those are the obvious ways. But we're different in even more profound ways, right? People think differently than you. The way they, their feelings run are different. They see the world differently. They respond differently. It's so easy, seemingly, to be in a place of a lack of understanding related to the next spoke over in the wheel. What we're speaking of here today is relevant, I believe, for anybody anywhere. It's relevant for people in Israel and Gaza or anybody else on the planet. But it is of particular interest for us with what we are undertaking. How do we do this if we can't participate in the wheel of life together, if we can't be a wheel of life together? If there's constant objection to what's going on, well, a very basic principle of success in life is accepting facts. So let's start with that. Would you not agree? Not accepting facts as a perpetual reality, but if a fact has shown up in your life, it's better to embrace the fact than pretend it's not there or object. So as a simple matter of principle, we have to accept facts, the facts of the other people who've shown up in our life. Ah. <laughs> accept and then make a place for them, embrace them, connect with them, reach out to them. You don't have to. None of us have to. But you have to, if we're going to build a wheel, if there's going to be a pattern of oneness and unified function and doing what we're going to do, there has to be. We have to learn how to do that. We have to learn to accept what is whatever and whoever is naturally at the hub of what we're doing. Anybody, any place has to do that to be creative. But we have to do that here. We have to be willing to be the hub if we're called to be the hub in whatever way. We have to find the hub of this field that we're in. The usual human way of seeing such things is all about personality. And it's all about separate parts. Seeing little more than that. Having an experience of oneself 
as geographically defined. Like I'm the person in this space right here, physically. You're you, I'm me. At a physical level, yes, we are discrete parts, you might say. And if that's all we are, it's hopeless. It's hopeless until we see the whole picture from a holonic perspective, mean, we're, meaning we're, we're seeing all the facets of the whole, caring about it all, and understanding that the whole of the whole thing is my responsibility. And not only that, but the whole of the whole thing, whatever whole I'm participating, lives in me. Humankind lives in me. All its troubles, all its struggles, its successes, it all lives in me, holographically. That's true of whatever whole that we're participating in. And until we see that whole from a transcendent perspective, we're sunk. That's what I figured out. I think we're sunk. We'll never, we'll never participate together in the wheel of life. Because it's all about how come you get to do that? I'm doing this. Who put, who made you in charge? How come you get to whatever, go to India or you, you name your thing? Or what's my relative status in all this? As long as that's dominating consciousness, there's no transcendent view. It's only when a, a person awakens to how much they have it at stake in the thriving of the whole in which they participate, that they're transcending the merely personal view of the world. <laughs>